everybody. Welcome to another episode of Community Voices today. We've got a very special guest, um, my extended family. I had to make sure to kick off Women's Month the right way. So we got Jordan Woods and Jody Woods. Oh, we got a clap. Clapping for Jody. So yeah, thank you guys for taking the time to you know talk with me and finish line JD um, about Women's Month. So we could start with the importance of Women's Month. Like, what does Women's Month mean mean to both of you? Well, I just truly think that it's so special that we have at least a short time, only a month, but to honor women. Without women, we would not be here. You know, my mother carried me for 10 months in order for me to be here. And that's how it goes. Of course, you need two to tango, but without a woman in our power, we would not be here. And I do feel like, you know, it's been how many years and we finally have our first female vice president in office. It's such an important time for women. And Honestly, women are starting to also become the breadwinners. Women are starting to, you know, own our power. So it's so special that we get even just a month to honor us, even though I do feel like every day should be Women's Day. (laughs) Um, But yeah, it's so, I love being a woman. I would rather be a woman than be a man. But, you know, being a woman does have it's difficulties. Um, and there's definitely not even equal pay. Um, there's a lot of injustices for women, especially black women, but there's a lot of injustice for women. So it's so important for us to kind of honor that and let women know that they're special and they're appreciated. For sure. I agree. I totally agree. And women are so dope. And I feel like we never really get all the love that we need and the appreciation that we need. So a full month dedicated to us, that's just amazing, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. And I think something that stands out to me is your, you guys' relationship as siblings. So for Jody, like speak to how, you know, Jordan is like a role model to you and how you hold her accountable for like just everything. Since you to. Honestly, Jordan is one of my biggest inspirations, Jordan and my mom. I look up to them the most. Jordan really just helps me with knowledge all the time. I'm constantly learning from her, but even me, like I'll give her advice and just hold her accountable. We're we're always talking about something or helping each other with something. And sisterhood is such an underrated blessing. Like family is really all you got. And I'm so grateful for her. Definitely. I'm sure she feels the same way. So to that, what do you say, Jordan? Yeah, I think it's pretty crazy having a twin nearly a decade apart. Literally. Uh, I never (laughs) thought that would happen or experience that. I remember asking my parents for a younger sister and I asked my mom, she said, ask your dad. And my dad said, where do you buy one? (laughs) And a month later, my mom got pregnant with Jody, And I think maybe it was my my psychic tendencies or something. It was coming through, but I have... I'm someone who's been through a lot in my life and experienced a lot of life at a young age. So anytime I can educate her, give her advice, it's so awesome being able to, you know, maybe in the moment that was my struggle, but I can take my struggle and make it something that's a gym now. Now I can teach you what not to do, or maybe don't shave the side of your head like I did, (laughs) um, because you will regret it. Don't, (laughs) maybe it can help you skip some some of that awkward phase, even though I truly believe children don't have the awkward phase anymore. Yeah, for sure. But, what'd you say? Jordan is constantly like, no, Jody, do not cut your hair because I'm convinced I want to cut it or dye it red or do something crazy. And she's got me out of it so many times. I thank her. Well, if she truly wanted to cut her hair, of course, I support her. But impulse decisions are things that I used to live off of Mm -hmm. and just you know let the idea marinate for a while before you really go ahead and do something you're gonna regret Jody's hair is nearly touching her butt so I'm like I wish I had that don't (laughs) touch it (laughs) do not touch it but yeah um sisterhood not only blood sisters but sisterhood is so important and 
I really would like to see a lot more women coming together. There's power in numbers. And I'm hoping maybe with this woman's month, we can join together. And anytime I see an opportunity to uplift another woman, I definitely try to, whether it's commenting on my friends' pictures or my Instagram friends, mm -hmm. um, or I see uh, someone's shoes or shirt or hair or something I like in person, a small compliment goes a really long way and it could really make somebody's day. I just love seeing women, empowered women that are going for it and working and doing their own thing. It's so inspiring because for so long, women have not been, let's say you pull up to say, a woman could be the director now. Mm -hmm. And it was never like that. So I think that that's so dope. Yeah, for sure. And you think about all the advice you've been giving Jody, like turning negatives into positives. I think that's just like life advice in general. And, you know, um, for me personally, I just love seeing like just a diverse group of people working together. So like you mentioned, being on set and it's like just almost like a rainbow of people and mm -hmm. women working in unison. And, you know, it's such a beautiful thing to see, especially how it's progressed over the years. So. All very great points from you guys. And I want to talk about, I know like both of you are working on like certain projects. You got, you know, some clothing brands. I think Jody's wearing a hoodie. And you with your app, with First Place app coming. So talk to us about that. And like some of your your passions and endeavors you're working on. Jody, you want to start? Or? You want to go first? I mean, I'll go first. So I'm wearing my hoodie right now. I just came out with a clothing brand called Forever Unbothered. Um, that is literally my baby. I love fashion and I just love being passionate about something. And I just have been working on this for a minute. So go shop forever and bothered, but I'm putting a YouTube out soon. I'm focused on my school. Cause you know, that's the main thing. And I just want to do some dope stuff and just dip into everything, modeling, acting, just like my sister. So. Cool. Uh, nice. young but ambitious um for me I just have always been on a journey of trying to figure it out um I grew up around people that always knew what they wanted to do or didn't have to do anything and so it kind of helped inspire me and kind of pushed me to figure it out I used to think okay so I'm I'm very decisive and I'm a Libra and I used to think okay when I was younger they say go to school and like you pick what you want that's what you're doing so I used to pressure myself and have this idea of like what am I gonna do what's the one thing like I can't just pick one thing I can't settle and you know I love so many different things so really my whole career my life has just been evolving into just trying everything seeing what works but I'm really trying to get into the more entrepreneurship space right now because I just feel like now's the time and especially with the pandemic it puts things into perspective like you can't always go to auditions and go host things and things. so it's so important to have things that are your own and also I love creating so anytime I can put my creativity into something Fitness is one of my passions. It's something that I love to do. It's a big mental health thing for me over anything. And because of, you know, losing my dad and bullying and trauma and everything that I went through, fitness has really been my crutch. And so through fitness, not only mentally did it help me get to a good place, but physically I became a lot more healthy and people are starting to take note of that. And I was like, how can I help people and share my journey. So I created First Place, which is about putting yourself first, putting your life first, and putting your health first. And we started with just online programs. And now we're expanding into the app tech space because I want to make it more user friendly for people. Yeah. So we're working on the app, which should be out within the next month. It's just, it takes a lot longer than you think. <laughs> and um fitness apparel products and then of course i want to expand more into the beauty space and the acting and the modeling is kind of something that with covid i'm just kind of chilling until it kind of clears up a little bit um 
but I love writing. I love music. There's so many things. So <laughs> there's a lot more coming soon. Sure. But in the short term future, definitely the app and the apparel and products. We have so many aspirations that people don't ever see. So recently we've been trying to show them more because we don't ever want people to think that we are just a pretty face. There's so much more to us. Period. Oh, I know for sure. <laughs> definitely. For sure. And yeah, I'm looking forward to all that coming out. I'm definitely need a hoodie. And once that app is ready, you know, I'm downloading it right to the phone. So yes, I encourage exactly. everyone else to do the same. And last question for you guys. Uh, and it's a philanthropic question because I know you guys are really into like the mental health, almost like the human trafficking awareness and things of that nature. So talk about uh, why it means so much to you and why you want to increase awareness around those things, especially for women when it comes to like human trafficking, even just mental health in itself. Yeah, um, I'll start. So mental health is one of the biggest health issues that us humans face, but we don't talk about it enough, especially in our community, we don't talk about mental health. People are just like, you know, you'll be okay, it's fine. Or they don't even acknowledge that they're dealing with something. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Your mind controls everything. So even when it comes to getting healthy, getting in check, working, just normal life things like hygiene, yeah. it all starts in your head. Mm -hmm. So mental health is something that we don't talk about enough, but it is so important because it's not the most important. Of everything that's yeah. the base of everything. And, you know, of course I know about human trafficking and sex trafficking, especially in women, mm -hmm. but right now it's at an all time high. Mm -hmm. It's so bad to even the point as to where my mom doesn't want me to walk in my own neighborhood by myself. Even though it's a nice neighborhood, I can't complain. She's like, it be those people. Yeah. Be careful. Don't walk by yourself. If you go, take your sister somewhere. Don't leave her in the car. Mm -hmm. And it's simple things. So I can only imagine somebody in my position, imagine being in a different position, how much even more scary it can be. Yeah. Even just like hearing like the articles come out and you see like kids, like 60 kids in like an attractive trailer that, you know, right? um, yeah. me, it's just, I can't even fathom how something like that even happens or even just the, the child or the kids in the, in the truck. Like what exactly. they're going to do. And Honestly, we're, yeah, we're so desensitized by it because we see something traumatic every day, but you don't really feel something until it happens to you or it happens in your neighborhood. For sure. And so just bringing awareness to the severity of what's actually going on is, is kind of a big deal. It's, it's a very big deal. It's so dope. Honestly, my mom is showing me articles every day about a kid going missing and just being a girl out here. It is so scary. I don't even like leaving my house. I'm constantly watching my back. Everyone around me knows that. So to bring awareness to that, that means so much to me because I can't imagine how I feel. I can imagine the people actually going through it. Yeah. Um, so I would just love to help a girl out or a family, anybody. Cool. And these are all great, valid points. And, you know, us at JD Sports and Finish Line, we love what you're doing. You know, I love you guys. You already know that. So we want to give each of you $10,000 to donate to a charity of your choice. And, you know, to help, it's just knowing that you guys are, you know, super passionate about those things. And, you know, $10,000 goes a long way into, like, you know, solving these problems and, issues that you know when we are facing especially during this month so we want to get that to you to give to donate to a charity and yeah i mean that's all i got uh for this interview thank you guys again you know i'll let you guys have the closing remarks that's so amazing thank you so much and we love you we've known you for forever you're the best Shout oh, out. <laughs> yeah it's really cool to see the evolution of your career and you've seen ours as well yeah. And I'm really excited about the $10,000 because you just don't realize how much that can impact somebody's life. So we're definitely going to do our research and pick where the best place to put the money in should go because, you know, some people say, 
yeah, you can give me the money and then it doesn't actually go to anybody right. to help them. It goes in their own pocket. So we want to make sure that whoever gets it, you know, really gets it and yeah. does something awesome with it. So thank you guys. It's so exciting. Yeah, and, um, yeah that's awesome. Cool. And yeah, that's a wrap. Thank you guys again. Make sure you follow Jordan and Jordy on social media, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter, everything. And yep, I'll see you next week. Thank Omar, thank you. you.